A very good morning to all traders from United World Capital and Cyprus. This morning the uh, stock exchanges in Asia are skyrocketing. Uh, most of them are up close to 1%. Uh, it follows up then a rather new good session in New York uh, with marginal uh, upturn on the markets. The reason for these good sentiments in Asia is uh, very nice uh, housing numbers coming in from the United States in the evening last night. Uh, they are at a level which we need to go back to, to uh, 2008, summer of 2008, to find similar to. And also, of course, uh, we are uh, now uh, having very interesting numbers out from China. The Chinese uh, gross domestic product increased 7.4% in the third quarter. That is uh, matching expectations, but much more interesting is that the September numbers for the last month in the quarter was very much encouraging and it points to uh, no, a much more optimistic view on the Chinese economy. Also, the leadership uh, question in China seems to be solved, and that also means that the political and economic instability factor is not any longer there as it was for some time ago. The euro is still strong, trading at 130.97 against the dollar, that is down from yesterday's high level where we saw 131.25. Uh, still a little way to go before we reach the 131.75 level where we have a very strong technical resistance level. Also, of course, uh, with the better sentiments in the market, the commodity prices are increasing. Gold reached 17.53 yesterday, is down to 17.49. Silver is having a nice trend, and copper futures are pointing clearly up. Brent crude is uh, trading at 113.50, that is one dollar down from yesterday. Numex New York crude is still above 92 dollar a barrel. Uh, I suspect that we are going to have a very, new, very interesting trading day today with uh, might be a certain volatility in the, uh, in, this, uh, in the currency market and hopefully also with a, new, a good new day in Europe with regards to the stock exchanges. I wish all of you a very nice trading day from United World Capital and Cyprus.